blunt and the witch. It was raining, raining, raining hard. It was falling on my head. It was falling on the stars. It was falling on the sun. It was falling on your shoes. I got soaking wet. Soaking wet. But I stayed outside. Stayed outside. The rain was sweet. The rain was warm. The rain was soft. It reminded me of home. It was raining, raining, raining hard. It was falling, falling, falling on the stars. It was raining, raining, raining hard. It was falling, falling, falling on the stars. Sweet rain. Raining, raining, soft rain. Raining, raining, warm rain. Raining, raining, sweet, soft rain. not to be? That is the question. Whether well, it is novel in the mind to suffer the sleeves and barrels of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing and them to die to sleep no more, and by sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is there to this a consummation devoutly to be wished to die to sleep to sleep the chance to dream I'll test the rub for in the sleep of death what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause Spasco. but soft what light through yandu into breaks it is this, and surely it is the sun. Arise with sun, and kill thee in this moon, who's already sick and pale with grief, that thou her maid art far more fair than she, but not her maid, since she is in this. Her best deliver is but sick and green, and none but fools do wear it. Cast it off. It is my lady. Oh, it is my love. Of that she knew she were. She speaks, yet she says nothing. What of that? See how she leans her cheek upon her hand, or that wear a glove upon that hand, or that must touch that cheek. Hi, Rick. She speaks, all speak again, bright angel, for the rat, as glorious to this night, being over my head, as is a winged messenger of heaven upon the white upturned wandering eyes of mortals that fall back in gaze to him when he bestrides the lazy pacing clouds and sails upon the bosom of the air. How oh, Romeo! Romeo, wherefore thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not, me but swore my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak at this? Just for thy name, that is my enemy. Thou art thyself, though not a Montague. What's Montague? It is no hand, no foot, no arm, no face. No, any other part belonging to a man. Oh, be some other name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose, by any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, when he is no Romeo calls, return the dear perfection that he owes without a title. Oh, Romeo, doubt thy name, and for thy name, which is no part of thee, take all myself. I take there the word. Call me but love. And I'll be new baptized. Henceforth, I never will be Romeo. What man art thou that has been screened tonight so established on my counsel? By a name. By a name that first brought me to inquire. My name, the saint, is hateful to myself. Henceforth, I never will be Romeo. My ears have yet not drunk a hundred words of thou transatrin, yet I know the sound. Have thou not Romeo into Montague? Neither, fair saint, if either thee dislike. How came thou hither, tell me? And wherefore? The urged walls are high and hard to climb, and the place there's considering who thou art, if any of my kinsmen find thee here. With love light rings did I report these walls, for stony limits cannot hold about. And what love can do, that dares love attempt? Therefore thy kinsmen are not stuck to me. You, they do see thee. Do they will murder thee? Alack, 
The lies more peril in the night, the torrential death was. Look thou, but sweet, and thy proof I gave an enmity. I would not for the world if they saw thee here. I have not cloak to hide me from the sight. My love, this saint, is hateful to myself. By whose direction found thou this place? By a name that first did prompt me to acquire. He let me counsel, and I let him eyes. I am not a pilot yet, where thou is far. And that were sure. Thou well, knowest the mask of night is on my face. And should a maiden blush be paint my cheek for that, that our host may I me speak tonight. Lady, by yonder blessed moon I swear, that tips with silver fruit retards. Oh, swear not by the moon, the constant moon that monthly changes in her circle talk, that they their love prove life is bearable. <laughs> What shall I swear by? Do not swear at all. Or if thou wilt, swear by that gracious self which is the god of my idolatry, and I'll believe thee. If my heart dissolve. Well, do not swear. Although I join thee, I have no joy in this contract tonight. It is to rise and advise to sudden, to like a light in which death cease to be. No one can say it like Sweet, good night. This body of love, by summer's ripening breath, may prove a beauteous flower when next to me. Good night, good night. Pounds and dress come to thy heart, and that was in my breast. Why you leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction can thou have tonight? The exchange of thy love. Thou gave thee mine before thou didst request it, and yet I would it were to give again. Would thou then draw it? For what purpose? Love? But to be frank, and gave it thee again, and that I will, but for the thing I have. Bounty is as boundless as the sea. My love is deep. The more I give to thee, the more I have. For both are infinite. Madam. I hear some not within. The love at you. An armed nurse. Sweet more to keep it true. Stay but a little. I will come again. Juliet. Oh, bless, bless night, I am a feet. <laughs> Being in nights is only but a dream. Too flattering to be substantial. Sweet one, dear Robin, good night indeed. If that day of love be honorable, that purpose in marriage, send me more tomorrow by one that I'll procure to come to thee. Where and what time thou wilt perform it right, and tell my fortunes to thy foot I'll lay, and follow thee, my lord, throughout the world. Madam. To thrive my soul. A thousand times, good night. Madam. A thousand times, to worse. Love goes towards love, as schoolboys from their books. But love from love towards school likes heavy looks. My heart in the highlands. My heart in the highlands. My heart is not here. My heart in the highlands. A chase in the deer. A chase in the wild deer. And following the road. My heart in the highlands wherever I go. Farewell to the highlands. Farewell to the north. The birthplace of valor, the country of wars. Wherever I wander, wherever I rove, the hills of the highlands, forever I love. Farewell to the mountains, high carved with snow. Farewell to the stress and green valleys below. Farewell to the forest and wild hanging woods. Farewell to the torrents and loud pouring floods. My heart's in the highlands. My heart is not here. My heart's in the highlands, a chasing the deer, a chasing the wild deer and following the road. My heart's in the highlands wherever I go.
faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing and the roof, her beauty and the moonlight over She tied you to a kitchen chair, she broke your throat, she cut your hair, and from your lips she drew a hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I know this room, I walk this floor I used to live alone before I knew you I've seen your flag on the marble arch But love is not a victory march It's a cold and it's a broken Hallelujah Was how to shoot at someone who outdrew you. And it's not a cry you can hear at night, it's not somebody you see in the light, it's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. As soon as Wu began to feel that he would like a decent meal, he went and knocked on Grandma's door. When Grandma opened it, she saw the sharp white teeth, the horrid greens, and Wolfie said, May I come in? Poor Grandmama was terrified. He is going to eat me up! <laughs> she cried, and she was absolutely right. He ate her up in one big bite. But Grandmama was small and tough, and Wolfie wailed. That's not enough! I haven't yet begun to feel that I have had a decent meal. He ran around the kitchen yelping. I've got to have another helping. Then added with a frightful leer. I'm never going to wait right here till little Miss with riding foot comes home from walking in the road. He quickly put on Grandma's clothes. Of course he hadn't eaten those. He dressed himself in coat and hat. He put on shoes and after that he even brushed and curled his hair. Then set himself in Grandma's chair. In came the little girl in red. She stopped, she said, and then she said, what great big ears you have, Grandma! All the better to hear you with! What great big eyes you have, Grandma! All the better to see you with! He sat there watching her and smiled. I'm going to eat this child. Compared with your old Grandma, she's going to taste like caviar. But Grandma, what's a lovely great big furry pot you have on? That's right! Have you forgot to tell me what big teeth I've got? Ah, well, no matter what you say, I'm going to eat you anyway. The small girl smiles when Alice flickers. She whips a pistol from her knickers. She aims it at the creature's head and bang, bang, bang. She should see that. <laughs> a few weeks later in the wood, I came across Miss Riding Hood. <laughs> but what a change! No clock of red, no silly hood upon your head. She said, Hello, and do please know my lovely furry rose skin coat. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I won't get lonely as a cloud that floats on high or wells and hills, when all at once a soul cloud, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lakes beneath the trees, fluttering and dances with the birds, continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way, they stretch a never-ending line along the margin of the bay. Ten thousand so away at a glance, tossing their heads in sprightly dance. The waves beside them danced, but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee. A boy could not but be gay in such a jocund company. I gazed and gazed, but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought. For oft, when on my couch I lie in vacant or in pensive mood, the flash upon the inward eye, which is the bliss of solitude. And then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils. Paul Lawrence Dunbar. If I could but forget. If I could but forget the fullness of those first three days when you burst on light through the haze of an acquaintance on my side and made the wit gradating bright and made, uh, while clothed themselves were fair to see. Uh, but all the things come back to me, if I could but forget. If I could but forget how your dusk eyes look into mine and how I thrill. Sorry, I am watching Vsin Valuiska. How I thrill at twist from wine beneath your touch. Well, feet a man, the quickened stream so every way. How near my breath felt to a gasp when first space our fingers met in one electric vibrant clasp. If I could but forget. If I could but forget the months of patience and of pain and all that followed in the train. Rebellious thought that would arise. Rebellious thought, rebellious thought, uh, tears that dimmed mine eyes. That prayer that I might. That love's fire and flame within your bosom. The death at last of that desire. If I could, but forget. Thank you. Sorry. Bill, Bill, good to see you. Sorry, I was late. The traffic was disastrous. Good to see you. Well, the play is going well, isn't it? Well, it seems to be okay, yeah. They always seem to go for the ones with the snappy title. Hamlet. Perfect. Perfect. X3, maybe be a bit longer, I don't know. X3 may be a bit long. In fact, generally, I think we've got a bit of a lens problem. Oh? It's five hours built on wooden seats and no toilets inside of the tent. Yes, well, I've always said the raw set is a dumb, frankly. I mean, the sooner they knock it down and build some decent, the better. Exactly. So that's why I think we should trim some of that dead wood. Dead wood? Yeah, you know, some of that stand-up stuff in the middle of the action. You mean the soliloquies? Yeah, and I think we both know which is the dodgy one. Oh, oh, which is dodgy one? Um, to be noble in the mind, mortal coil, that one. It's boring build, the crowd hates it. What is my favorite one? You cut one word and I'm off the plate. Bill, Bill, why do we have to fight? It's long, long, long. We could make it so snappy. Snappy? Yeah, you know, give it some pizzazz. How it's begin? That speech. To be. Come, come on, Bill. <laughs> to be a victim of all life's earthly wars, or not to be a coward and take death by his prophet hand. Then I'm sure we can get that down. No, absolutely not. It's perfect. <laughs> How about to be a victim or not to be a coward? It, it doesn't make a sense, does it? To be a victim of what? To be a coward about what? Okay, okay. Take out victim, take out coward. Just that. To be or not to be? You can't say that. It's gibberish. <laughs> but it's short, William. It's short. Listen, it's Klaus. To be or not to be? That is the question. <laughs> Damn right. It's a question. They won't have any bloody idea what he's talking about. Well, okay. Let's leave that and go on. Blah, 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 slings and arrows, good action, the crowd to love it. Take up arms, brilliant, against those cursed doubts that do plague on men. Uh, getting very wounded, they build. Plagues a bit tasteless at the moment. We've got letters, actually. And set a sail on a sea of troubles. This is good. Travel. Travel's very popular. So let's take out the gap and see what we've got. 
to suffer the slinsy narrows of outrageous fortune or to take up arms against the sea of troubles. Good. I resign. Bill is brilliant. It's absolute crap. He might as well kill himself. Great <laughs> thinking, Bill. Hamlet, perhaps he should talk himself. In act one? Well, okay, well, uh, we must think about bumps on seas. Let's face it, it's the gold that's selling the show at the moment. Joe Public loves the gold. He loves the sword fights. He loves the crazy chicken that fits through dress who does the flower gags and the drums cell. But no one likes Hamlet. No one. All right, then. I kill him off for you. Um, all right, there is a rap to die to sleep. Whoops! Hamlet falls off the battlements. Bill, I can see. I can see you now. I'm sorry. Hamlet has his moment. The master is very funny. It's really hysterical. But all I'm saying, Shake is let's just show him this one terribly dull speech. And to I Sam is no. You got one word and you can take my name off the credits. Alright, alright. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll trim this speech and you can put back in those awful cockney great diggers. The boss of them? Yeah. And the skull would see. Yep, the whole sketch. All right, then, you've got a deal, and we will see which one history remembers. Bill, I love you. Need <laughs> <laughs> to laugh and cry. It's a wonderful, wonderful life. No need to run and hide. It's a wonderful, wonderful life. I always get sitting in the sunshine. No need to laugh and cry. much more gory. The phony one, the one you know, was cooked up years and years ago and made to sound all soft and sappy just to keep the children happy. Mind you, they got the first bit right. The bit when the dead of night, the ugly sisters, jewels and all, departed for the palace ball. <laughs> well, darling little Cinderella was locked up in a slimy cellar where rats who wanted things to eat began to nibble at her feet. She bellowed, Help! And Let me out! The magic fairy heard her shout. Appearing in a blaze of light, she said, My dear, are you all right? All right? cried Cindy. Can't you see? I feel as rotten as can be. She beat her fist against the wall and shouted, Get me to the wall! There is a disco at the palace. The rest have gone and I'm jealous. I want a dress. I want a coach and the earrings, and the diamond brooch, and silver slippers, two of those, and lovely night and pantyhose. Done up like that, I'll guarantee the handsome prince will fall for me. The prince himself was told to pulp. All he could do was gasp and gulp. Then midnight struck, she shouted, Hat! I'm going to arrive to save my neck! <laughs> 
The prince cried, No, alas, alas! He grabbed her dress to hold her back as Cindy shouted, Let me go! The dress was ripped from head to toe. She ran out in her underwear and lost one sleeper on the stair. The prince was on it like a dart. He pressed it to his pounding heart. The girl this slipper fits, he cried. Tomorrow morning she'll be my bride. I'll visit every house in town until I've tracked the maiden down. Then, rather carelessly, I fear, he placed it on a crate of beer. At once, one of the ugly sisters, the one whose face was blotched with blisters, sneaked up and grabbed the dainty shoe and quickly flushed it down the loo. Then in its place she calmly put <laughs> then in its place she calmly put the slipper from her own left foot. Aha, uh -huh, you see? The plot grows thicker, and Cindy's love starts looking sicker. Next day the prince went charging down to knock on all the doors in town. In every house the tension grew. Who was the owner of the shoe? The shoe was long and very wide, and normal food got lost inside. Also, it smelled a wee bit sticky. The owner's feet were hot and sticky. Thousands of eager people came to try it on, but all in vain. Now came the other sisters go. Why I tried it on, the prince screamed. No! But oh yes, it is! We be so <laughs> From ear to ear, he muttered, Let me out of here! <laughs> no, you don't! You made a vow! There's no way you can back out now! <laughs> Off with your head! The prince rolled oh. back! <laughs> Prince, he smiled and said, hmm, She's pretty without her head. <laughs> then up came sister number two, who yelled, I will try the shoe. <laughs> try this instead. The prince yelled back. When he tried to sword and smack, her head went crashing to the ground. It bounced a bit and rolled around in the kitchen. Still in spots, Cinderella heard the thuds of bouncing heads upon the floor and poked her own head round the door. What sounds a racket? Cindy cried. Mind your own bees. The prince replied. Poor Cindy's heart was torn to shreds. My prince, she thought. He jumps up heads. How could I marry anyone who does this sort of thing for fun? The prince cried. Who this dirty slut? Off with your nut! Off with your nut! Just then, all in a blaze of light, the magic fairy hove in sight. Her magic wand went swoosh and swoosh. Cindy, she cried, Come, make a wish. Wish anything and have no doubt that I will make it come about. Cindy answered, <coughs> Oh, kind fairy, this time I shall be more wary. No more princess, no more money. I have had my taste of honey. I'm wishing for a decent man. They're hard to find. You think you can? Within a minute, <laughs> Cinderella was married to a lovely fella. <laughs> a simple jam maker by trade who sold good homemade marmalade. Their house was filled with smiles and laughter, and they were happy ever after. <laughs> The winter is the past. The winter is the past. And the summer comes at last. And the small birds, they sing on every tree. Now everything is glad. While I'm very sad. Since my true love is parted from me. The rose upon the bridge, by the waters running clear, May have chance for the limit of the bee. The little loves are blessed, and the little hearts are dressed. 
What my true love is parted from. My life is like the sun in the firmament does run. Forever is constant and true. But kiss the love, the moon, that wanders up and down. And every month they feed you. All you that are in love and cannot it remove. I pity the pains you endure. For expensive make me know. Then, then your hearts are full of woe. A woe that no mortal can cure. The winter, it is past. And the summer comes at last. And the small girl, they sing every tree. Now, everything is said. Why I'm, why I'm very sad. But my true love, it's budget for me. Thank you.
Wir will präsentieren ein svensk Song, der Teil war schon ein svenska, er hat möge drei Utrugsfilm und Melodisk Sprach. Wir hoffen, dass er will nicht darauf dem. Schweizer, einer der самых больших по размеру стран Европы. Швеция бросается в глаза контраст между долгими летними днями и долгими зимними ночами. Летом в Северной Швеции солнце светит круглые сутки, однако зимой там холодно и темно. Белые ночи простираются до самого Стокгольма. Шведский синий-желтый флаг символизирует многовековую историю Швеции и ее отношения с северными соседями. Мы хотим представить вам песню на шведском языке. Как известно, шведский язык очень богат, красив и мелодичен. Мы надеемся, что она вам понравится. Yes, sir. 